Loop. Sort of start off a new series for me. This is going to start off my new, uh, my new like intensive month series. And uh, I found October to be a fascinating, but um, in some ways frustrating month. Um, it's obviously a very beautiful month in the mid latitudes, but um, I find it hard to suck the October out of October. You know, like it's like the opposite of August. Like I'm good at August. You know, I can at least recently I can I can really like I can make August my own. But October, it's like there's all this pressure to like capture a certain moment in time, and it's almost impossible to do so. Like for instance, the whole idea of peak foliage, I don't like that idea. All right, I've I've thrown that out the window recently because. You know, the last thing we need when walking around the woods is like some kind of pressure to like capture this perfect moment. Really, really, we have to make our own perfect moments. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not part of the calendar. You know what I'm saying? And right now, I tried to capture. I tried to get here before sunset, but um, that failed. So now you really can't see me. But in a way, that's perfect because that's what October is all about. Okay. So anyway, I'm walking toward this stream here, which I have to say, it's sort of magnificent. Um, the fact that I've actually missed peak lighting in a certain way is even better. You know, it's there's just something very October about that, you know? So I'm going to sit down and find a way to perch myself that's advantageous to all. And uh, I'll have a lot more to say, okay? We can catch some of those cool colors here. All right? And this is just so you know, it's my laptop computer. So there's something intriguing and entertaining about that, okay? I'll be back. Okay, so here's some thoughts about the month of October. It's really one of the most complicated um, months for listening to music because there's, there's just so many elements going on and it, it can be a bit confusing. I, I'm actually wearing a winter coat right now because it's one of those days that just got real cold. Um, so like, you know, temperature can throw a wrench in things. Um, but let me start out where I have to start out really. And the first thing is that a friend of mine once once mentioned to me that autumn was just a, a very sensible time for acoustic guitars. And uh, yeah, I have to say that that's really true. And uh, really, even the color of autumn is the color of an acoustic guitar. And the strings on the wood kind of sound like the trees. I mean, it, it, it just it just works. You know, I was very I was very thankful for that, you know, revelatory comment. Um, so there's that element. There's this sort of like you know, need to like get back into some rustic music, you know what I mean? S sort of connect with the earth that, you know, you wouldn't have felt that pressure in August or something like that, you know? So October's a sort of a key month to appreciate nature and stuff like that because it's, it's changing so much that you almost can't possibly miss it. So, you know, acoustic music tends to work well, okay? Um, but there are other sort of perplexing points about it. So sometimes you have in October, it's just, it's just a continuation of September and like you kind of forget that you just sort of have green leaves and it's just like a month you know so October also has this weird neutral month characteristic to it where you really just end up in your house doing work and putting on 80s music and you're actually totally not connected with nature because in that way it's just a neutral month you know of course, you also have the fact that, you know, you're going to have rainy days, you're going to have cold days, you're going to have warm days, you're going to have days that look like summer in the beginning, you're going to have days that look like later autumn, especially in high elevations, you're going to have absolutely no leaf cover at all. And these things are all going to impact your listening possibilities. Not to mention, uh, you have gothic mornings, you know, your commute's going to be darker, which totally changes things. So there are a lot of points of confusion, okay? And I got to come back to see you guys. I'm actually enjoying my, my pixelated self right now because something about that is also very October, you know? Like, I may just vaporize at any moment, just like every moment in this perplexing, confusing month. So, other points of confusion. So, I'm sitting here trying to enjoy the natural world, and I am, um, absolutely, absolutely. But um, there's a decomposing pumpkin near me, which... You know, pumpkin's just a pumpkin, and I, I love the whole squash family, but, you know, there's this element, Halloween really ruins, in a certain sense, the entire month, although it kind of affords new listening possibilities, because you really have a, a month where you want to appreciate nature, and you want to appreciate, like, I don't know, like, 
fruits like apples and stuff like that and you know and the fact that all these interesting fruits just sort of and leaves like decompose in the earth you know like you want to you want to sink into earth but then you have this whole like otherworldly thing that's been kind of imposed upon you you know this whole this whole halloween thing you got these decorations everywhere these sort of weird face creations popping out everywhere which is almost like the antithesis of your you know of your sort of nature acoustic instrument kind of thing so it's just it's a very perplexing situation and sometimes i find myself sort of rushing like through different styles of music i sort of want to i want to like get all the aspects of the month correct you know like i want to i want to get it right but it's it's almost impossible to do that do you know what i'm saying and like, once again I'm, I'm missing it all i'm missing everything right now it's getting dark you know i, I had to drive far away to you know remove myself from trick-or-treaters so there's that too Somehow there's also something scary about October, but it has nothing to do with with Halloween or ghouls or goblins or anything of that nature. It's, um, you know, I, I enjoy the cold weather. I mean, I'm a bundle up kind of guy. You know, I don't I don't like biologically enjoy it. You know, like I'm not like one of these, you know, go out in a T-shirt in December kind of guys. But somehow there's something frightening about when it starts to get cold. You know, there's a certain, an, an element of uncertainty. It's like, like, how can a human being handle this? Well, oddly enough, when it's, when it's January, by that time, you've sort of forgotten about that. You're just actually cold. But there is something a little menacing. There is. And maybe that, that may end up influencing your musical selections. <laughs> 